good morning, y'all. Good morning. Where's my lighter? So, I'm not even going to try to read the comments because y'all going to throw me off right now. So, I was just being a normal, good, regular little thotty, not bothering nobody, not doing nothing wrong, always innocent, never guilty, right? So, we've been promoting because, you know, me and Prestavia is really the only ones that have established brands to promote. When I say brands, I mean just a gimmick, right? Christian, thought, whatever. You know, I don't know what to say about 40. I don't know what to say about, I guess QB is the queen of disrespect, so she got hers. 40, I guess she's the most viewed. But how do you announce it? Like, the most viewed woman in battle rap. I don't know how you announce it, like, her brand. Um, So me and Prestavia have this brand that makes it easy to promote. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So we've been going on interviews, talking our little shit or whatever, you know, just doing what the girls do to promote. So, every time I do an interview, every time I do an interview, I bigs this hoe up. I say, oh, Prestavia is fire. She's polished. She got a nice pen. All of that. I always start with positive things. And then I lead into why I feel like I'm going to win. I don't never have to knock Shorty down. I don't never have to put her down. To big myself up. But that's queen shit. So I'm watching an interview. And this. Can y'all hear me? And this pussy ass hoe. Bible thumping bitch. You fucking church hopping whore. You click hopping motherfucker. You fucking revelations. um revive, Revolutionist motherfucker. So. This bitch going to say, well, what what a wall full of fedoras, not kangos, not snapbacks, not motherfucking no, no fly hat, the motherfucking old lady church hat, the motherfucking auntie hat, the auntie hat, really, the auntie with no kids at that, the auntie that's always down to babysit, the cool auntie, you got those hats, bitch, okay, please, so a wall full of caps. And a mouthful of cap. This pussy asshole gonna say, um, you know, I just feel like my pen is way better than Yoshi's. It's the pearl I tub. Honey, we not writing essays. We not writing essays. Okay? Your pen is gonna come in handy. Duh! We all got pins, stupid. Everybody got a fucking pin. And your shit ain't better than 40s. Your shit ain't better than officials. Why is you talking so spotty? The fuck, you smelling your piss? You smelling your piss, ho? Because you forget. I'm me, not sir. Me, I'm the reason your ass is here. You don't fucking deserve it. You wasn't thought of. Remy didn't know your name. They was like, oh, oh, Yoshi, what's the girl you battling name again so we could do these face-offs so she could come get her makeup done and, her, and all of this shit? They didn't know your name. They know they needed a replacement. They needed somebody to stand in front of Yoshi. Humble your fucking self, bitch, because you're still in your freshman year and you got fortunate. You think God blessing you? God is not blessing you. God blessing me and using you. This is my blessing. It's not your blessing. Oh, this girl thought, oh, I just, I, God is really blessing me. One year into battle rap, and I got on this Remy card. No, you're not getting blessed, stupid. I am. It's my blessing. It's a way for me to stay relevant on this card. It's for me to stay on the card. They wasn't looking for no Prestavia match. You wasn't in the fucking running at all. At all. Way better competition. Way better girls that was mentioned. You wasn't in that shit. So why the fuck do you... You must be sucking surf dick. This why I'm thinking you sucking his dick. Let me tell you why. Because anybody who ever sucked that nigga dick know he gonna big your head up. He gonna have your head so fucking big you gonna think you the fucking best thing since sliced bread. And I feel like that nigga gassing you because you're fucking... You sound crazy. 
You sound crazy. Why the fuck? Why the fuck aren't you staying humble? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Who the fuck is you? Girl, you just woke up overnight and got here. Now I see how the other bitches feel. But I put five in. I put five years in. I got over 30-something fucking battles. I done traveled state to state and doing this shit. You're not finna tell me. You're not finna tell me that you deserve this opportunity. You fucking don't. And now you want to spill yourself and smell yourself? And talk about what do... Bitch, I don't give a fuck what that pen do. What the fuck other attributes do you have? Okay, you got a pen, bet. Motherfucking Yoshi got a, a perfect score, number uh, five on the FCAT writing. Yoshi always been the motherfucker that can write. But guess what? I was also the bitch that the teacher called to come read in the front of the classroom. Public, ske- public speaking on a foul wow. Work on your breath control. Work on your breath control. How about that? And work on your body. Yeah, I'm going to say it because everybody want to be so fucking nice. Bitch, I was nice. A lot of the shit that I could have said, I was so fucking nice in that face off. Because I'm like, I don't got no problem with shorty. She just here so I can stay on the car so I can rap. Bitch, work on your body and your breath and your breath control. Because we all had the same fucking jumpsuit. How the fuck was your jumpsuit? The motherfucking buttons was about to bust. Your pockets was about to bust open when you sat down. What the fuck size did you have? Because I was in a small, and I felt like I could fit a whole other person inside my shit. I had so much space in that motherfucker. I could have literally jumped off a plane, and it turned into a parachute. I had so much space in that motherfucker. Your shit was snugged on your shit. Your shit was so fucking tight. My daughter said, Mom, why are you battling a pregnant lady? I said, she not pregnant. She not, pre- she not pregnant with a baby. She might be pregnant with hot wings. She might be pregnant with pizza. But she's not pregnant with a baby. Work on your body. Since your pen is superlative, since it's at the highest of the high, work on your body. Because guess what? My shit is superlative to yours. My little itty bitty 110 pounds is superlative to your 210 pounds of fucking high cholesterol, diabetes, whatever the fuck you got going on. Work on that shit, sis. Because guess what? We're not doing waist trainers. If you if you try to wear a waist trainer when we battle, I'm going to open that shit. I'm going to pop the motherfucker. So why you so worried about my pen? Go outside. Go walk up them hills. Go walk down them Brooklyn streets, bitch. Go hop from subway to subway, platform to platform, whatever the fuck you fat hoes do. Do that. Okay? Do that. Don't worry about my pen. Bitch, go eat some cereal out of one of your fedoras. How about that? This bitch is really feeling herself. I let it go twice. I let it go twice. You let these hoes and surf gas you up to think, oh, you got to really piss Yoshi off. You got to really go for her. And I've been humble with your raggedy ass. Really? And you feel like I'm the bitch to piss off? Why don't you talk shit to the other new hoes that you lap? You didn't lap me. I pulled you up to where the fuck I am. You didn't fucking lap me. So go talk to them bitches that she go hard. Go talk to them bitches that started with you, right? Then you could talk shit to them like, oh, look, I'm on the Remy car. And you could talk down on them. You can't talk down on me, ho. I don't give a fuck if you got a hundred pins. I don't give a fuck if it's big. I don't give a fuck if that motherfucker got a feather at the end. I don't give a fuck if it perfectly writes so smooth. I don't give a fuck about none of that pin shit, bitch. Where's your personality, ho? Where the fuck is your personality, bitch? Because you really pissing me off. You really pissing me off. You need to work on that charisma. You need to work on that breath control. And you need to work on that body. On that body. Double neck and all. I Listen, I set you up. I set you up, sis. Because I told them, let's do the side profile. Knowing your shit look nine months pregnant. I knew it. I knew it. And now you stuck with that. We holding the crown and you stuck with that. Pocket busted open to everything. You look wild crazy. You look wild chunky, ma. You look hella chunky. You look like you really expecting right the fuck now. Body shaming? Yeah, I'm body shaming a bitch. Because a bitch would body shame me. 
Yeah, a bitch would body shame me in a second. So fuck that. Sis shit look crazy. Sis look crazy. In the diesel battle, you had the fucking pants hiked up to Massachusetts, bitch. Your shit was so fucking hiked up. I don't know what the fuck you got going on. Surf. Put her in a mirror. Surf. Buy her the Prada like you did Jazz. Surf. Get her a wig like you did 40. Surf. Surf. Mr. Cox. Because, baby, that's who you need to be thanking. Surf. And Yoshi. Matter of fact, you do, do definitely owe me something because pussy asshole, if I say tomorrow I got COVID, <laughs> I feel like I got COVID. So if I, <laughs> if I get COVID, you don't rap, bitch. If I get sick, I'll go outside and not wear a mask for two weeks, ho, and fuck up your whole world and opportunity, bitch. Bitch. Who the fuck do you think you're talking to? Like you're going to have another person. Um, Who is you talking to, Christavia? Why is you smelling your piss right now? Who the fuck gassed you? Cola flathead ass? Who? Tone broke extra, extra ass? Who? Who the fuck is gassing you to tell you to get me mad? Because that's the last thing you want to do, sis. Maybe you just want to come rap. Maybe when you do your interviews, you need to have a little more motherfucking respect for the bitch that said yes and brought you on this car, bitch, because you wasn't thought of. Remy didn't know who the fuck a Prestavia is, and there's way more qualified bitches in female battle rap. Way, way. Everybody is more qualified than you, bitch. When I think about it, everybody, everybody. You only here because Surf said, y'all got to accept this bitch. And he only picked you because you're the only bitch that probably won't go suck and fuck other battle rappers. You a safe bet. Look at you. <laughs> Look at you. You're a safe bet. He can close his eyes at night and know that you probably won't go fuck the ops. Yoshi will. I will fuck the shit out of the ops. Yes, I will. I will fuck the shit out of the ops. Yes, I will. So he know you're a safe fucking bet, grandma, auntie. You're a real safe bet. But you not her. I'm not, it's not giving star. It's giving a bitch that can rap, I right? She can rap, but it's not giving star. I'm not getting no it factor. I'm not getting nothing special, bitch. You're not even giving Christianity. And now you got to really stand on your gimmick. Yeah, you got a gimmick. And now you really got to stand on that shit. How? Because they done put on all the flyers. They done put in all the TMZ interviews that your raggedy, bad body, stuffed, pig in a blanket, stuffed ass is a Christian battle rapper. Which means them motherfuckers going to want to hear some Christian bars, bitch. So you better put the gun down. Nah, I want you to shoot me. But you better... Have some fucking Christian shit, bitch. We want to hear some Bible stories. We want to hear some parables. You need to be saving souls. Or you whatever the fuck a Ward and Loso and Street Hens and all them other motherfuckers do. You don't got to be their team. We understand you a devil's granddaughter, whatever whatever the fuck. But, bitch, they expect TMZ, Shade Room, Remy and her friends expect to hear some motherfucking Christian bars, bitch. So get your Bible and step your shit up. Because you haven't been saving no lies. When I hear you rap, I don't hear Christianity. It's giving me fake prophet. It's giving me steal from the church. 